Creating a module in AngularJS is a straightforward process, and we're going to look at doing that. But before we do, I want to review the ng-app directive. Now, earlier in the course, I showed this and mentioned that at this point, it acts as a marker to let AngularJS know to parse the page, look for directives and other related AngularJS features so that it knows about them. Well, now we're going to take it up a notch and we're going to create a custom module and associate it with ng app. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to call it customers app. Now, if you wanted to call it customers module, because it is a module technically, you could do that. But a lot of people go with the app type of concept and some others go with the module type concept. It really just depends on what you'd like and your wording choice there. So what we're going to do is we need to define a module now called customers app, and I need to put that somewhere using that angular.module syntax. Well, what I like to do is in my app folder that we've already created, I'm going to come in and add a new file called app.js. Now in here is where I'm going to actually use the angular.module syntax. We'll paste that in, and then at this point, I don't have any dependencies. So now we've created a module called customers app. We've said that we don't have any dependencies and we've actually hooked that module into our ng app directive. Now when Angular loads, any of the parts, the Lego blocks that are in this container, which is our module, will now be loaded as well. Now right now, we don't have anything in there. We're gonna cover that in the next section, but this is the start of defining a module and then referencing it in a view. Now the last thing I need to do, of course, is we need to come down and add a script reference. So we'll say source equals, and let's come into app, and then we'll come into app.js and add our script tag. Now, at this point, the controller is not in the module. So let's go ahead and run it. And we should see the data loads, and you can see it does, but it's a little bit deceiving because the module is not really a container for anything at this point. So let's talk about in the next section how we can add our controller into that module.